Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your daily read and it is for Thursday the 7th of May 2020 for all signs. So as usual, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. I'm going to do an impromptu spirit message reading today. I just felt drawn more to these cards. So let's see what we have. See what the message comes out. What message comes out? It is for all signs. So again, just take what resonates with you. We have acceptance and cultivation here. Acceptance and cultivation. I feel some of you are moving on. I feel that cult cultivation can be about new growth, focusing and manifesting something new. We have the three and the seven, which makes ten. Ten in tarot can be about endings. Likewise, one and zero can be number one, new beginnings. So I feel that some of you are accepting something that is gone and focusing on new growth. And cultivation is working hard at what is going to bring you growth now, what is going to bring you reward, yeah? Where you're going to get something back that's positive. What do we have angel spirits guys what is the message for thursday the 7th of may 2020 and remember the reading does resonate a few days either side of when it's released sometimes longer okay yeah again there is a message of guard your energy and we have one and nine again making ten I feel this is putting your energies into something that is worthwhile, accepting something that is gone by guarding your energy. Okay, Angel Spirits, guys, what is the message? This is the Spirit Message deck. Oh. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. Isn't that beautiful? And I feel for some... Yeah, and I just feel that some of you are, are being guided to be inspired now to put your passions in the right direction. We have life devoid of passion can be boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will, re which will, turn, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. Yeah, I just feel for some of you, now is the time to find acceptance in something that has gone and focus your energies on something that is more worthwhile to you. You know, and I do feel for some of you, your loved ones that have passed the other side are guiding you in that direction. Guard your energy, protect yourself. Don't let negative energies into your environment or people who drain your energy. You know, that could be people, it might not just be situations. It might not just be a thought process, it could be something in your physical environment too. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. So, first card is the issue or challenge you need help from. Spirit on. Second card is the advice from spirit and the third card is the outcome should you take that advice. As always, it doesn't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guide? What is the message? Issue or challenge? It's too many. Okay. 
We have two cards that have fallen out. We have justice and we have judgment. Wow. The hermit. Queen of wands. I love this. The empress. I mean, really, for justice and judgment to come out, some of you have been treated poorly. Uh, you know, this is all about actions have consequences. And I really feel, because we've got the hermit, you are healing from someone's actions towards you, which is why the guard, your energy, is now coming out really front and centre in this reading, because... I just feel some of you have been through it. I've been treated. I, I do feel some of you have been through poor treatment by someone, experienced a difficult situation. Could be to do with legal matters. But whatever this is, the Justice card is. I mean, both of these cards are powerful karma. Karmic forces are guiding you forward to release from whatever this was because the universe always writes wrongs you see the the scales the impartiality of the universe the fact that people are judged on their actions as you are judged on your actions and you've been treated poorly by someone the universe always writes wrongs there is always karma at play in the universe and this is a wake-up call to say now is the time to release what's gone and I feel whatever injustice or difficult situation that you have experienced. It might not just be with the legal system. It might have been you've been treated poorly. You've gone through some injustice. And this is the truth will out. If it isn't out in your external environment, this is karma. There's karma at play here. Now, judgment card is a card of saying now is the time to let go because you've learned the lessons that you needed to learn. It's time to guard your energy. Remember I spoke about endings and beginnings? You know, and I just feel for some of you, the judgment is near an ending. Allow something to draw to a close, forgive where you can forgive, but this is a big message to step into your light now. Step out of that darkness into the light because you're being called to act. You know, it might well be there is a decision or choice that you need to make. But I'm really seeing these cards as powerful karma around you at the moment because somebody has not been treated properly. And Angel Spirit's guides are saying it is time for you to focus on cultivating growth, new growth, a new direction. Find acceptance with what's gone. And that's what the Hermit does. It's a wonderful card, the Hermit. The the Hermit is a card of Virgo. Obviously, we have Libra here as well. We have Aries. Um, Libra, again, with the Empress energy. And Taurus. So the, the Hermit is a card of raising your vibration from within, finding direction and answers from within, and understanding how to act on that wisdom in your external environment. So from finding inner direction and healing from what's gone you are finding direction in your external environment there is a message here that the answers are within this is about soul searching shining the light from within to see the way forward to see what needs to be released and healed in order to raise your vibration from within it's a great card of finding wisdom finding answers to act upon in your external environment and that's why the Queen of Wands is here because she is all about action but she's intuitive action because she's very much linked with her intuition her instincts her inner knowing knowing when the right time is to act to play to her advantage to capitalize on success and growth and I do feel with her appearing this is time for you to be in your power she's a wonderful person of being in your power in her power um, I just feel that this is focusing your energies on what is going to bring you growth what is going to connect you to your passions desires 
That is what the, the Inspire Passion and Reignition is. It is the Queen of Wands energy, card of Aries. Take the initiative on what drives you, inspires you, excites you, and put your energies in a focused way towards that. Rather than staying stuck in whatever this was. Because believe me, these two together, it is powerful karma around you at the moment because there has been some injustice done. And the Empress is a beautiful energy of embracing the new. Now, I will say with these two cards as well, that when you are in the zone of being in your power, you are going to attract the new. You know, the Empress understands how to attract and attract the right things because she she's in the right energy. She lacks for nothing. She has full belief in herself, her capabilities to bring abundance into her life. And that energy just seems to attract and this is very much linked to the law of attraction. Again, what you put out to the universe, if you have that negative energy, you will just attract that negative energy back. We're all made of energy. And she is very much full of that positive energy, that positive creating energy. She is the birth of something new. She is about embracing the new. She is about new growth, cultivation. She is co-creation along with God, the divine, the universe. And I certainly feel with that cultivation here, she's about manifesting something new, whether it's new jobs, um, new prosperity and happiness in your life. She's very much linked to money and and love. So it is doing what you love, do what, doing what excites your passions, um, can represent the beginnings of something new in terms of money areas, career areas maybe, or could be in terms of love. But I do feel for some of you, you have been treated in a difficult way. But this is a time, this is the turning point to come into your power. It's a powerful energy. It really is. Um, Venus in Taurus, it is focusing on what is going to bring greater value into your life. And making that happen. I'm going to pull a card to finish off the reading. Now the Queen of Wands can represent an opportunity coming your way. There's too many there. Still quite a, few, a couple, okay. Yeah. The phoenix appears here when you need to be empowered. It's, it is a sign of empowerment. It is a sign of ri rising from the ashes of the old, burning away the old in order for the renew to come into your life. This is about making space for the new. And I do feel that some of you are ready to turn your back on whatever this judgment and justice was all about. We have fire activations, bring creative and spiritual freedom. Yeah. This is you. Fire activations. Being in your power. Going for what excites you, drives you now. And we have the wolf, heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. Wow. I mean, those two cards in itself are pretty much saying what all the reading is about because something has not served your highest good and it is time to move on from it. The wisdom that you're finding from within, it is about acting upon it in order to bring new abundance into your life, new growth, yeah. And focus your energies on what is of value to you now because there's a message that you are getting back on track. This is a nice card of healing from what has gone, but it's a nice uh, focusing your energies on what is going to bring greater value into your life now. Whether it's money and career, something uh, stable, solid in your life, 
doing the things that bring greater stability and value into your life. Now is the time to focus on those. Big message of guard your, act, uh, guard your energy. Don't allow yourself to focus on what this was. It's major arcana, so for some of you it was something big. But I do feel some of you are finally ready to let go of it. I mean, this can talk about divorce, this can talk about legal disputes. This can talk about a big injustice you might have been dealt as well. It's not, not just to do with the legal system. This is about someone's actions having karmic consequences. So, yeah, it is time for you to let it go because I feel for some of you, there are there's better things ahead. And for some of you, this can represent opportunity, um, a chance to get back on track in terms of your money and career or focus on what is of greater value into your life. Now we have a lot of Virgo energy here, which is very much linked to the, to the Hermit, the healer energy, working hard to get back on track, to bring greater value into your life now and move away from what doesn't serve you. Wow, I mean, this is really powerful, but hopefully, I feel for some of you, you are absolutely at a turning point now. This is out with the old, in with the new. Let change happen because this is about you transforming into that phoenix, you rising from the ashes of the old and allowing the old to burn away. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.